Hey, you're still watching. Here we go. What's your secret? It's a serum that I make myself. Fucking Ouch, be careful. Advice to no, 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 you taped over my Carrie's Crazy Castle tapes! Wait a minute, that's Judge Harriman. You lied to me! Excuse me? You were really a hero of mine, you know that? I was a U.S. spy married to another spy. Hmm, there's so many spies. What are you gonna do when you find her? Oh, I'm gonna place her own bullet right between her eyes. Cordula's taking full control of the future of Magic Fun Hats. What? We're gonna be the next ones hanging from a glittery noose if we don't do something soon. We have a secret weapon. See you at the wedding. And I think I'm done. I did a good job. Okay, just to confirm, we're all on board with killing Cordula. Yes! yes. yes. Yeah, I wanted to kill that She is destroying our show and our very lives with this controlling contract. Just listen to what the stress is doing to my voice! No, that's because you yell at people and smoke cigarettes all day. Oh, please, that is not true! Arlo's right. Cordula's actions have got to be against most religions. Mine just says you can't eat meat. But you can kill anything. All right, so we're all in? I'm in, babe. Just say I'm in. Arlo's right. She's got us in her grip, and she's not going to let us go. I'm in. I'm in, too. I've been in this whole time. All right. Dave, you're the mastermind in this department. How do we go about doing this? Well, in prison, poisoning someone was cowardly, but flawless each time. How would we go about making this poison? Well, I'm going to need some chloroform, an ounce of ether, duct tape, and two gym socks. Perfect. I have all of those on me right now. Fantastic. While Dave's whipping up a batch of Cordula Killer, the rest of us have got to get Mr. Cronus on board with this plan, because if we just flat out kill the bitch, then... He's going to have an angry time. Exactly. If he doesn't get on board with this, he's going to hold this against us forever. That would be bad. And we need him to be just as guilty as the rest of us, so we can all share his lawyer. Okay, but let's break it to him nicely, okay? I mean, the man's in love. Yeah, I want to come out of this feeling like a good person. Mm. Yeah. We are good people. Mm. Mm. Squicking tonight, bring the drill. <laughs> okay, all right, she's leaving. This might be our only chance to get him alone. Now, when we go downstairs, we need to approach him lightly. This is a heavy topic. How do we say it? Mr. Cronus, your fiancé is a Nazi. Simple, to the point, I love it. Who's a Nazi? <laughs> Mr. Cronus, we think that Cordula might not be who she says she is. We think that her real name might be... Ingrid Bullshit Sazen. I know. Well, did you know that she might possibly be a Nazi? In World War II, she murdered Mrs. Bory's husband. And she's destroying the show so she can control more dollars in mind. Mr. Cronus, she's a bad motherfucking bullshit person. <laughs> Mrs. Bory, Mary. That little strumpet would never settle down. Leslie, Cordula is an actual evil Nazi who's trying to turn our show into reality trash. Reality trash sales. But she wants ratings at any cost. She drove her last star to suicide. Look. I'm not gonna do a damn thing against Cordula. You leave her out of whatever you're cooking up. Understood? Mr. Cronus, she is a German Nazi. That is like the worst kind of person you could ever be! <laughs> We're all Nazis if you think about it. Now, I got a wedding to plan. Well, that was a total failure. No, not yet. We just need to force Mr. Cronus to see the truth. All right, plan B, you guys. We need to make Cordula's inner Nazi come out screaming and waving that swastika so goddamn hard that it makes even Mr. Cronus get a softy. I want at least eight layers. Ooh, that one's nice. No, this one, the frosting is nicer. I'm just gonna be placing my brie and baguettes here, completely undefended. Hope that no one seizes it by force. How do you feel about burgundy tablecloths? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm planning on spilling some wine. Cordula! <laughs> I'm trying to decide what to wear to the wedding. What do you think? Blonde or brunette? Hmm. Whichever one you think will get you what you want. <laughs> Sorry, they're all a little nervous. <laughs> I'm thinking a no-carb menu. Oh, I was just about to say the same thing. I haven't had a carb since 93. Hey, Miss Cordula, <laughs> we're doing a history-themed episode, and Saw Schittler here was wondering if... How did Hitler salute again? Was it like this? Leslie, I'm tired of planning this shit. Let's move the wedding up to tomorrow. But what about our friends and family? We can hire filler wedding guests. What about a venue? A respectable one won't be available on such short notice. Why don't we just do it here at the studio? After all, this is where we met and fell in love. Why not get married here? Oh, perfect! <laughs> Everybody gather around! We're pulling the wedding up to tomorrow, here, in the studio. Shit, goddammit. That's great. Be there, or you're fired. <laughs> hey, we didn't even get to all our ideas. All right, guys, we have less than 24 hours. Dave, I need you to get cracking on that poison ASAP. Yeah, yeah, the poison. <laughs>
Big day, big boy. Uh, hey, Mr. Clark. Oh, 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 idiots, we can't oh, all oh, enter at once. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mr. Cronus, how are you doing today? I was great, but now I need another joint. Why are you here and not in your seats? Well, we just wanted to say hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. 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 And, and we were thinking that maybe instead of marrying Cordula today, uh, if you could kill her with this poison. I do it. <laughs> Come to your senses, man. She's going to destroy you. Look, early in our relationship, sure, I, I thought about killing Cordula. But the truth is, I love her more than I ever thought possible. She enhances everything I value in myself. And I don't care about anything except pursuing this beautiful mystery. Aww. I want that. That's really beautiful. I never knew you felt that way. Oh, fuck you all. That's bullshit, Mr. Cronus. She does not love you, and I'm sure as shit you don't love her. She's using you for your money and your power, and by the time she's finished, she will have robbed you of both. He's right. You know what kind of person she is, and you know she has you right where she wants you. Someday you'll have nothing to give her and she will cut her losses and that will be the end of you. Remember, Mr. Cronus, the Bible says... That's enough nonsense. Get the hell out of here. It's my special day. No, no, no. You can't. Can't. Except you, know. you are, alone. You heard him. Get the fuck out now. Go! Get out! Damn it. I'm having you give the bitch away to me. She don't have a father. Probably because he's buried in Austria. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Cronus, look, I see where you're coming from. Okay, I do. But you have to understand me when I say this glass of champagne has been poisoned with a... <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. Whoa, 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 there, little guy. There you go. This glass of champagne has been poisoned with a decelerated strychnine, enough to kill Cordula before or during consummation. Now, look, I know all you care about is... Money and power, yes. Yes, but she is out to destroy you and us. And let me tell you, you will not survive her. If you see her for what she is, then I pray to God you will do the right thing and murder that Nazi cunt. I know you'll make the right choice, Mr. Cronus. Hmm. Hello, Cordula. Congratulations on your big day. Thank you, Arlo. I was just telling Mr. Cronus that I wish both of you the very best. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave you to it then. <clears throat> move, move. Who is this? Cronus, I'm sorry if this hurts, but we're over. What? I was just using our relationship as leverage against a competing offer. No, you can't do this. I love you, and you love me. Oh, Leslie, come on. You know high-level marriages are just business transactions. It's nothing personal. Benito's family owns half of Italy's economy, which is worth more than you'd think, and I had to generate a competing bid. So, that's it. You're leaving me to marry this man. Well, yes, unless I get a better offer from someone else, obviously. How could you do this to me? Even with a million dollars, you're still worth nothing. Thank you for telling me. I thought you'd be angry. I'd like to toast to your future. I might have really loved you, but... Now we'll never know. I wish you all the happiness in the world. And we'll still be friends. Of course. Here's your money. You can drop the act. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> Wait, what? I hope you understand, darling. After years of people trying to stab me in the back, I have to be sure of those closest to me. So this was just... A test. Maybe there will be more, maybe there won't. But I had to know that you loved me no matter what. <sighs> you please me greatly. No. Oh, yes. Leslie, I have never felt more powerful or been happier in my entire life. I think I'm actually crying. I never cry. Cordula, I... Oh, my God. Hey, turns out this poison is actually cyanide, so the timing might be a little... Oh, great, you did it! <laughs> you... Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah, bud, you did it! Oh, shit!
brain. I'm so sorry, Cordula. I'm so sorry. Well, this is great. Control of the show will now transmit to Cronus, right? Because he's, uh... He's, uh, he, he's in charge of, Who you know. cares, dude? The bitch is dead. <laughs> or, 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 she will be. Sorry. Or will the network... The network will go to Mr. Cronus because... Because she has no immediate family. Right, she has no immediate family, so she... <laughs> but if they were married, Cronus would get everything. Uh. Oh, fuck, she's still alive. Okay, Mr. Cronus, we gotta get the two of you married right now. Man, son of a bitch. I thought people soil themselves when they die. That was they do. Disappointed about that too, yeah. People are sick. Now focus. We got a corpse wedding to perform, Mr. Cronus. <laughs> hey, heartbreaker. Come on, we gotta get you two married now. It's over, man. Well, what chance for happiness to come murder, dude? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Shut up, okay? You murdered her a lot quicker than she was gonna murder you. All right? No! <laughs> that was funny, but not appropriate. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> You gotta snap out of this little pussy fit that you're having because the two of you have got to get hitched right now! Rough night. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> all right, she's all yours, Father. <laughs> uh, yes. Dearly beloved, we are gathered Actually, here. I, I think they wanted more of an abbreviated wedding. Oh? Why don't we just skip ahead to the part where they say I do and go fuck each other? <laughs> um, do you have the ring? There's the big circle. Why don't you, uh, why don't you raise your hand, Cordula? No. Okay, your left hand, please. There we go. <laughs> She's a little nervous. Oh, oh God! Fantastic. Uh -oh. It's great. Uh, um, Leslie Coronas, do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. Cordula, do you take this man to be your husband? I think that's a yes, right? I, uh, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Cordula Sweetser. Uh, you may kiss the bride. Okay. Kiss her. Thank you so much for coming. Great. I'm just going to need you to sign these wedding documents. Uh, oh, I only sign after the bride has had her first dance. What? You see, in the good old days, the priests got to watch the consummation. <laughs> but no, we just wait for the dance to sign it. Oh, God. Cronus, you still have to dance with it. <laughs> oh, no way, man. Do they have to? Well, she's got to dance with somebody. Hmm. I know most of you were paid to be here, but aren't they precious guys? <laughs> we gotta wrap this shit up and get out of here now, you guys. Yeah, we know. You're the one who's dancing forever. <sighs> Zombie? I, what? She's waking up. I, I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> Clumsy me. <laughs> Won't happen again. Arlo, Arlo, big smile, honey. And now another one. What the fuck? Jesus. Uh, she's okay, everyone. Ha <laughs> All right. Thank you all for coming, everyone. There's pot and coke upstairs. She's got to go take a little nap, all right? Let's get her out of here now, you guys. Go, go, get up. Move. Where is Cronus? I don't know. I haven't seen him since he ran out and left us with his dead bitch. God, how is she not dead? How is it this hard to kill a Nazi? Guys, what do we do now? Can't just kill her again? I don't know. Cronus seemed like he kind of regretted the whole killing her thing. I don't 
don't know. He seemed ambivalent. Maybe we tell him that she's okay and they'll patch things up. Or what if we kill her again and we don't tell him that she survived and could have lived? God, you guys are idiots. These are all terrible ideas. We'll do yours, Cliff, but we have to make a pact. Mr. Cronus can never know that we killed his wife twice. Agreed. Agreed. What? Oh, shit. Fool! No. Ah! Hey, where'd you get a gun? I always keep a Ruger in my vagina. Gross. Oh, yeah. How much of what we were just talking about did you hear? Oh, I lost a lot of blood, but everything! Oh. Please don't kill us, Cordula. Please, Please I'm with you tonight. Nobody cares about her. We just don't want to die. I have no more use for your show. The coverage I'll get from the cast being found dead is worth much more than your trite squabbling. And spare us for the sake of your husband. Leslie Cronus, that jackass will kill himself once I put him out on the street. Look, I think you're just a little upset because your husband tried to poison you. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you loved him. I love his money and his power, all of which are mine now that you fools successfully married us. What you talking about, Cordula? Leslie signed my prenup yesterday, and now I'll have no trouble keeping everything in the divorce. Mr. Cronus would never sign anything like that. I'm thinking a no-carb menu. That fool was so head over heels in love, he could barely focus on anything other than me. And your stupid attempts to reveal my true identity were just the distraction I needed to get that prenup signed. Salute again, was it like this? Ugh, God damn it, Cronus! Hey, oh, oh, God damn it! Time for last words. Okay, uh, I'll go first. I'm gonna miss jacking off. I'm gonna miss eating hot pockets. I never got to be recognized in public. I never got my scar removed. I never got to have a best friend. I don't want to be murdered. If it makes you feel any better, I consider this to be euthanasia, and I'm starting with the diddler. Oh, God, no, again. No, 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 That's for my Irwin, you sauerkraut cunt. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, we don't really know that she's dead. I mean, plenty of people survive gunshot wounds to the face. Mm -hmm. Not without becoming mentally retarded. Sorry again about that. Oh, she's dead, all right. And this time, she ain't coming back. Oh! I really thought people soil themselves when they die. <laughs> Right, shut up. Mrs. Bori, thank you so much for saving our lives and for doing your country a great service. Damn, it was a long time coming. As an Allied spy, I had to service fleets of Nazis, but it was all worth it if it brought us to this moment. What a hero. Hey, y'all. Uh, Mr. Cronus, we can explain Mr. Cronus, we're really sorry No need this. to explain. I heard everything. I was thinking with my heart when I should have been thinking with my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, we have a nasty mess. Uh, yeah, we gotta get her out of here somehow, or I'm going back to prison. Okay, I have an idea. Mr. Cronus, Mrs. Bory, you get those wedding assholes to skedaddle. Jimmy, you pull the car around back. Cliff, Dave, Sasha, you help me load the bitch up into the car. Got it. Drusha, you clean up the feces. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Everyone bring it in. Come on. One, two, three. Magic <laughs> fun. Oh, shit. Yes. Okay, let's go. All right, assholes! Party's over! Thanks for coming! <laughs> You know, we have a lot more in common than I thought. In the past couple of weeks haven't been too bad. I'm not gay, but I agree. It's nice to let go of baggage. You know, with Cordula gone and Mr. Cronus back at the top, this show could use a producer. <laughs> and you would let me produce? Well, you're a smart guy with okay ideas. I'd rather have you upstage me behind the camera than in front of it. We're gonna need someone to run the light booth. Yeah. Only if he's as ugly as you and lets me treat him like shit, sure. <laughs> I look forward to working with you. Yeah. There we go. Does anybody in this funhouse know what time it is? It's time to read. That's right, princess pianist. I love to read. Reading is a great pastime for anyone who don't have no friends. But you and I have had such good times together, how could you- Shut up! Today we're going to be reading a book called Letting Go by Dr. Anne Bonheisel. When I pass away, it'll be good to know that I've learned how to live, to love, and to let go. Living and loving are easy to learn, but learning to let go can be such a burn. Would you like a ride to your new office, Mr. Cronus? I don't want to be that far from this chaos. I want this room to be my new office. 
Right away, sir. Letting go of the past doesn't mean you don't care. It simply means moving on from a bad here or there. When you hold on too tight, not letting go of the race, you soon then will realize you stayed in one place. Letting go of your friends can cause quite some pain. But life is a highway, and we're not all in one lane. Well, that's simply not enough. If they want to fight 18%, we politely tell them that we will fuck their moms, their dads, their babies. We will fuck them all! And if... Oh, great. Thank you. That was great. Aggressive. I loved it. Uh, thank you, Arlo. Yes. Oh, Arlo. <laughs> I wore your favorite color today. What do you think? That is not my favorite color. <gasps> Driving this road means showing respect. Because if no one let go, it all be a wreck. So if two make a turn and leave you behind, just learn to let go, and you'll be just fine. So let go, boys and girls, because none of it matters, as we live and we love before life itself shatters. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode, boys and girls. Tune in next week to America's number one kids show. Bye-bye. Hey. We're just going to have to have you do that line one more time, just differently. Well, well, it's live, so can't fucking do shit about that. Right? Sorry, we, we can't fucking do anything about that. I'm sorry, what do you want me to say differently? Uh, it, the number one kids show part. But we are the number one kids show. We are the number one kids show, right? Right, Patsy? Refresh it. Oh. 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 This is impossible! No! Oh. 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 Okay, just to confirm, we're all on board with... We're all on board with killing... All right, Dave. Dave, this is your department. How do we go about doing this? Just say I'm in. I'm gonna need some chloroform, an ounce of ether, duct tape, and two gym socks. I'm in.